Shout out to my crew, but they left me. So shout out to my wide angle in case I set that camera up wrong. <laughs> cool. So uh, I'm, I'm going to start with a tiny history lesson. Bear with me. It's all part of the joke. So uh, has anyone heard of the story of Phineas Gage? Yes. This, this guy back in the 1900s. He works the railroad. Real happy, friendly dude. Railroad tie goes through his brain in a freak train accident somehow. And after they get out, miraculously survives, but he's a totally different guy. He's angry, he's mean, he's crotchety, and hang around people. I am Phineas Gage, but my railroad tie was a driving job. I worked this uh, job for a pharmacy that delivered their medicine uh, to all these places, and, and I've always like, heard of road rage, I've heard people talk about it, but uh, I've never experienced it myself until this day I'm on this little like one lane road coming back from who knows where, Texas. There's this like, old lady in a like, hatchback in front of me. She's going 30 miles an hour, and it's just hills on both sides. There's no going around it for like 40 minutes. And I'm used to my conscience. My conscience is like, no, no, don't let the baby be on the stairs by herself. No, wash your hands. But I heard a different voice that day, and it said, kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Run her off the road. <laughs> Never heard that voice before. And, and I've discovered that the, the human that tolerance to being in a car is about seven hours. If you go over that, there's irreversible damage. Uh, and, and you know, if you ever want to talk about road rage, you've heard this story a million times, but I don't hear anybody talk about how it follows you home from that point. We were out bowling, a couple friends might not, but bowling is not part of the uh, mental destruction I received from driving. I did that before. But uh, we're out bowling, there's these kids in the lane besides us, these teenagers in there. They're going, <laughs> Do the TikTok, do the TikTok, they are jumping around screaming, and of course, if you ever go bowling, they shove you on the same lane as people instead of spreading it out. And without even thinking about it, I lean over to my friend and I go, I'm going to follow these kids in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm going to beat them to death. <laughs> Just immediately afterwards, I go, did I say that? Did you say that? It's insane. It's insane. And now it's why that now I've stopped that driving job, and I still, like, the other day, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth, I live in this old apartment, and a cockroach climbed up the wall. Before my driving job, I would have grabbed like, a paper towel and I would try to grab it. I punched that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around and just socked it. It wasn't even a stain, it disintegrated. It's like Nano snapped his fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Before that driving job, I worked at Target. And I'm gonna combine two of the hot topics from tonight. Target and racism. <laughs> like, uh, Target's crazy because you'll have, um, everyone's talked about angry customers come up, whatever. I want to be my favorite customers were the ones who were racist but had nobody to be racist with. <laughs> right? They'd be coming up and you'd help take care of them, you'd check them out, and immediately afterward they'd give you that look, they're like, well, you're white too. <laughs> my family doesn't talk to me. And this guy, he, one day I'm checking him out. I can get some headphones or something. And the dude's like, thank God you guys are open. I didn't want to have to go to the park small. I'm like, no, oh, why? He's like, we know. And after about 8 p.m., Happens after 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of stare him down. What's up, man? <laughs> He's like, you know, the, the population there. No, I don't. <laughs> Why don't you say it? <laughs> they send his cards in the thing, do ding, do ding, take the card out. He's like, oh, whatever. It's, it's, you have a good night, man. Yeah, they don't want to say it. Because I think they're going to get up there and do a little handshake, you know? Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, no. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Um, if anybody sees Roddy, can you ask him if he got a ride home tonight? Because I might have a hot time. <laughs> that was crazy. In the last two sets, I was the only guy sitting right there. Everyone up on stage. Who am I going to pick on? Nobody. <laughs> you know, look at me dead in the eyes. I'm sitting there with my Anti Dosecchi's bottle. You're funny, dude. <laughs> but yeah, this is also my first time up on stage. And uh, I want to say, so many, so many talented, hilarious comedians tonight. I just want to say it was really cool being up on stage. It was really sick hearing all of you guys. It was really cool being a part of this. So, y'all have a good night. Get home safe. Don't work at Target. Don't work at Target.
<laughs> All right, everybody, give it up one more time.